Welcome to SickCast, brought to you by Sick Research Institute, illuminating every path. Welcome to Visaki Countdown, a series highlighting individual experiences and relationships that people hold with Visaki. Coming from diverse backgrounds, countries, and experiences, our team is passionate about sharing their connection to Visaki and its resonance in their lives. Follow along as each team member highlights their story of what Visaki means to them. Today, you will hear from Dr. Harsoena Kar, who serves on Sikri's Advisory Council. Today is day two of our Visaki e countdown. When I think of Visaki, I think about a nine year old boy standing by his father, Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji as a, the delegation of Kashmiri pundits begged for help. Aurangzeb had threatened them with death if they didn't convert to Islam. Guru Tegh Bahadur turned to his young son and asked him what should be done. The young and wise Gobind replied that his father was the best person to intercede with the emperor. If Aurangzeb could convince Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib to convert, then all the Kashmiri pundits would convert as well. If not, then Aurangzeb would need to let them practice their own faith in peace. When I think of Visakhi, I think of that same nine-year-old boy as he held his father's head in his arms, the head that Pai Jetaji had carried with such care all the way from Delhi. Enraged at failing to convince Guru Tegh Bahadur to convert, Aurangzeb had ordered him beheaded. Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji had given his life for the right of every person to practice his own faith freely. When I think of Visakhi, I think of that young boy growing up, witnessing the barbaric cruelty of the Mughal rulers, the soul-destroying caste system that dismissed the humanity of so many, the corruption of the Brahmins and his own Masans the passivity of the population against all these injustices and the desperate suffering of so many. When I think of the Sakhi, I think of the passage from Kalgidhar Chamatkar by Pai Veer Singh Ji, as he describes how Guru Gobind wrestled with his mission to galvanize this crushed humanity around him and bring their spirit to life. Guru Sahib meditated a long time And then deep in that moment, he heard a word repeated thrice, Khalsa, Khalsa, Khalsa. And he saw a vision of an enlightened human being. As Pai Veer Singh Ji writes, Dil vich bahadri di chamkar par zor zulam nahi, utshada uchala par gussa nahi, jaba rob पर न्याव द तकड़ अडोल प्यार है पर मन खचित नहीं उपकार है पर उपरामता नाल है गृहस्थ है पर उदासी दी लहर त्याग है पर हुकम हासिल फकीरी नाल है पर दिलगीरी नहीं तलवार हथ है पर टाल दी सूरत वाली कलम भी हाथ विच है पर न्या ते रहम वाली गल अंगा ते कमर कस्सा है तेड़ कच है बल दे हीरिया दा बूटा डोले बद्धा है पर सीने विच नाम दमक जोरदार है दिल विच नक्शा कोमलताई दे रस परी सुंदरता दा है पर दिमाग विच नक्शा विवेक दा है जोर है आपे ਤੇ ਪਰੋਸਾ ਬੇਮੋਤਾਜੀ ਦਾ ਮੱਥੇ ਤੇ ਰੇਖਾ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗੰਮੀ ਅਕਸ਼ਰ ਲਿਖੇ ਹਨ ਚੜਦੀਆਂ ਕਲਾ loosely translated that would be the heart shining with courage without tyranny brimming with enthusiasm but no anger strong with self respect but holding steady the scale of justice full of love but not enmeshed generous and kind but with detachment householder 
and yet with monk-like non-attachment, without any desire but retaining self-determination, removed from the world but without any sadness, sword in hand, held as a shield against injustice, pen in hand for justice and for compassion, dressed and ready with long underwear, an armband studded with diamonds of strength, but the glint is of Nam shining in the heart. The heart is adorned by gentleness and beauty. The mind is alive with wisdom, strong, trusting oneself, independent. On the forehead, written in glowing letters, Chardi Kala. Energized by this vision, Guru Gobind Rai called the followers of Guru Nanak to assemble at Visakhi. He stepped onto the podium facing the crowd, his sword glinting in the sunlight and called out, who is willing to give their head? When I think of Visakhi, I think of the stunned silence of the crowd, their fear and their confusion, not knowing or understanding what was happening. I think of the many who ran away I think of those who sat frozen, struggling with doubt and fear and searching for courage. I think of the five who stepped forward one by one, stepping to the rhythm of Nirbhav without fear that Guru Nanak had set forth. I think of the moment when Guruji stepped out in front of the Sangat again, surrounded by all five of them, their faces lit by the touch of nirvair without hate. I think of the love that shone in Guru Gobind Rai's eyes as he introduced his Panj Pyare. I think of those in the crowd who then wept at their inability to have stood up earlier. When I think of Visakhi, I think of the strong iron bata holding life-giving water and the double-edged khanda that Guruji used to stir as he recited the banis of Japji, Jap, Savaye, Sohila, and Anand, bestowing strength and courage and balance. When I think of Visakhi, I think of Mata Jitoji stepping forward to add Patase, her share to this endeavor to sweeten the spirit with love and compassion for strength without kindness is tyranny. I think of the Panch Pyare as they knelt before Guruji and received Amrit. I think of them as they sipped from the same vessel, breaking caste taboos and honoring their collective humanity. I think of the gift of each of the Panch Pyare gave us. Daya Singh's compassion, Dharam Singh's righteousness, Himmat Singh's courage, Mokam Singh's steadfastness and Sahib Singh's promise of connecting with Vaheguruji. When I think of Visakhi, I think again of that Guru, who then knelt before his Panch Pyare and asked for the same blessing of Amrit. With that, Guru Gobind Sahib infused the Panch Pyare with his spirit, trusting them to hold true to his vision. I think of Guru Gobind Singh as he gave himself and his Panch Pyare the same family name, again destroying the separation of caste and creating a new family of equals. I think of the beautiful ideal Guru Sahib gifted us to inspire us. I think of his words, Khalsa mero roop hai khas, Khalse me hon karo nivas. The Khalsa is a manifestation of me and I exist in the Khalsa. When I think of Visakhi, I wish women had been present to answer that call. I think of that day and I'm glad to at least carry the family name of Kaur. I think of Visakhi and wonder if I would have stood up. And I wonder if I stand today. How do any of us stand up today? Do we walk without fear? without hate, without greed, without anger? Do we walk with strength, with compassion, with joy, with faith, with freedom, with love, with kindness, with tenderness, with generosity, with gentleness? 
reflecting at Visakhi reminds me to reassess what I believe and why, and to reassess how I stand up for it each and every day. Vahikruji ka khalsa, Vahikruji ki pate. You are listening to Sick Cast by Sick Research Institute, illuminating every path.